Hi everybody, today I am going to share a quick video with you on how to use your basket feature in your Palmerton Area Library account. You access your library account by going to palmertonarealibrary.com and on the home page you'll see a tab that says my account. Your username is the row of numbers on the back of your library card. If you have a purple Lehigh Carbon Library Cooperative card, your barcode number probably starts with a 6. The default PIN for all Palmerton patrons is 1234. And after you log into your account, you should see a screen that looks like this. From here at the top, you can search the catalog. And today I know I want to search by author. I want to look at books, and I'm going to stick with the Palmerton Area Library collection. If I wanted to search the collection of a different participating library, I could choose it here. Or if I want to look at all the collections in the Lehigh Carbon Library Cooperative at once, I could do that by searching like this. But today we're going to stick to Palmerton Area Library. And I'm going to look at books by V.C. Andrews. And I have five pages of results of books by V.C. Andrews from the Palmerton Area Library. Now, I'm not exactly sure of the titles that I'm looking for, but I know they were some of her more recently published books. So I can use sort by to reorganize my results a little bit. And I'm going to sort by newest to oldest publication date. There we go. Okay, so you'll see Out of the Attic and Shadows of Foxworth are her most recently published books. You'll also see that they appear under New Fiction, and right now, zero of one copy means that they're checked out. They're not available at the library. So I'm going to skip those for now. But it looks like the Silhouette Girl. Beneath the Attic and House of Secrets are available. So maybe I'll try um, checking those out. Now there are different things that I can do. I can go ahead and place a hold on each of these individually. When you click place a hold, it sends an electronic message to the library with your account information requesting this particular book. Adding to a list, may I may use that if I want to come back and look at these books maybe in a couple more weeks when I'm done with, with what I'm currently reading. And adding it to a list will store it for later reference under my account. The other choice I have is to add to basket and that's what we're going to work with today. So I'm going to add this one this one and this one to my basket. Your basket works similarly to an online shopping cart. So just because I've put them in my basket doesn't mean I've done anything with them yet. It doesn't mean I've placed a hold. Just like when you put items in your basket on a retail website, you need to choose a next step as to what you want to do with them. And that's here at Basket Actions. I can view the basket. Here is where I would place the hold, the request. Print them, email them if I want to share them with somebody else. Add basket to a save list, which we'll look at later. And delete things out of my basket. So most commonly people want to place a hold. 
So I'm going to choose place hold and click go. Now in the same way you use an online shopping cart, this is a confirmation screen before you would like, quote unquote, make a purchase. This is asking me, are these the three books that I want to request? Yes. Is this the library that I wanna pick them up at? You can customize this if there's a particular library in our system that's closer to your home or place of work, or you know you're going to be running er errands in a certain area, you can customize this but I'm gonna keep it to Palmerton Area Library. This is the contact information that's set up in my account so that someone from the library can notify me when these books are ready for pickup. You can also suspend the holds. That means, let's say I wanna put these three on hold and then I realize I'm gonna be away for a week for vacation and not able to pick them up. If I suspend these holds, if I click here, yes, I can set an activation date for when I'm back from vacation to um, place the request at a time when I'm actually available to pick them up. But for today, we're just going to hit submit. And now I get a net message that all three holds were successfully placed. So I want to hit continue. Now, right now, all three of these items are still currently in my basket, even though I've placed a hold on them. That's because we're still in the same login session, the same browsing session in our account. Um, more, more often times than not, if you don't, if you leave items in your basket and don't do anything with them, and then you log out of your account, when you log back in, um, they may not be here because the system doesn't really know what you wanted to do with them. So since they're still in my basket, let's do a second action. I put them in hold. Uh, I know I'm interested in reading them, but let's say I also want to add them to a saved list. So I can create a new list. Maybe I just want to create a VC Andrews list of books. Or I can choose from my basket what list I want to put them in. So I have two lists, books to read and movies to watch. I'm going to put these in my books to read list. Okay. Now let me go to this My Lists tab. Let me try a different way. Go up here to My Lists. There we go. Here's my saved lists. Books to read, movies to watch. And there are my VC Andrews books. You'll see they're in here a couple of times because um, I was playing around with this a little bit before I showed you. Making a list. This is the best way to store titles, whether you're doing a reading list, a research list for school, a book list for a theme for preschool or homeschool learning. Making a list is the best way to save book titles or movie titles for you to come back into your account and look at later. And if we go back up, you see now there's zero items in my basket. We move them out of the basket when we put them on hold and when we put them in the list. Now let's say I've changed my mind about these three books. I'm, I'm going to um, 
I'm not going to put them on hold because like I said, I'm going to be away for vacation. Maybe I'm not going to have time to read them. And I have other books on my to read list. If I go to hold and select them, I can again go to this drop down menu. I can suspend them, right? Set the date for uh, maybe a week in the future after I get back from vacation. Activate them if they're already on suspension if I, if I want them now or cancel them. So I'm gonna cancel them. So that's a little bit about how to use the shopping basket. Um, that's how I like to think of it, the same as a shopping cart on an online retail store. It gives you a little bit of flexibility on selecting a group of books or movies at a time and then deciding what you'd like to do with them. Place a hold, add them to a list, or um, email them. It's a good way to uh, do things as, as a group with books rather than just one at a time. So I hope this video helped. Please check out the other videos on our YouTube channel and please feel free to give us a call at Palmerton Library 610-826-3424. If you have any questions about your account, we will be happy to walk you through this over the phone or if you stop by the library, we can show you this process on the computer as well.